world headquarters of common sense. Talk radio. I said to Mike Graham um, earlier, I, I thought it was a... When I saw this ki you know, cat kicking video, I thought it was obviously some sort of joke that I was going to click on this thing and, and see a some kind of sketch almost. You know, he's a footballer after all. He kicks for a living, kicking cat. There's got to be something in this. They're raising money for Red Nose Day and he's done some kind of quirky meme that's going to get out there and go viral. Something of that nature. We're, we're about to play this video. If you haven't seen it, I will warn you that this does contain animal cruelty. It's deeply unpleasant to watch and you have to scratch your head and wonder what on earth is going on when we're hearing nothing about a prosecution of the RSPCA. Uh, perhaps rather bewilderingly, uh, the Met already saying that they're not going to be following this up. Uh, not any huge condemnation from West Ham other than them to say that they will be dealing with this internally. And I've yet to hear whether a sponsor has budged um, at all. Uh, the Nikes of this world that will be some of the people that put money into this man's career. Uh, so, again, the warning is there. Uh, it has some audio to it as well, uh, if you're not watching us on talk radio TV. Uh, but this is the moment uh, that the international footballer Kirk Zuma uh, had when he, uh, well, decided to essentially, not on one, but as you'll see from this, three occasions, abuse his family cat. And the reason there's a silence there is because there is a uh, warning on the video. So this seems to be funny. Um, and there's a kind of a drop kick. And that's then followed by him throwing his shoes at his cat. And then it moves to another part of the video uh, where there is a, a child uh, in the video who picks the cat up. Uh, I say a child, I don't know if it's a child, it could just be a, a small framed person, say that. Uh, but, um, and then he sw swipes the cat out the child's hand. Uh, the kick that the cat gets at the beginning is substantial, by the way. Remember, he's got a powerful kick on him. This guy's a pro footballer, for goodness sake. Um, and the cat uh, is, is hit with the foot uh, right in the stomach area. Uh, or certainly the chest area, uh, and it's deeply unpleasant. Apparently, that's that's all. Uh, the Met Police are saying there's nothing to see there. That's a cast iron case of uh, animal cruelty. It is gross. It is horrendous. It is shameful. Uh, he's made an apology. I don't think that really goes far enough. It doesn't touch the sides. West Ham United have unreservedly condemned him for hitting his cat in the video. Um, but that's it. Uh, as far as we know, West Ham play at Watford this evening. Is that at Watford? Uh, oh, it's at West Ham. OK, so uh, apparently still getting a game this evening, as we understand it. Um, you can only imagine the kind of grief uh, he's going to get for that. I think some people will just find it quite funny for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, but if you look at the video, whoever put the video out has put lots of sort of laughing faces emojis over it and you can hear laughter in the background of the video as a man kicks his cat, throws shoes at his cat and then swipes his cat in the head. He's a big guy by the way, I mean he could have broken the cat's neck on the last swipe. Uh, but apparently th th there's nothing to see here, the sponsors are all perfectly relaxed about uh, animal abuse. The old Bill are fine with animal abuse and curiously even the RSPCA um, at the moment, we, we will watch and wait and see, uh, they've got a good track record of taking out private prosecutions uh, against people who abuse animals. I'd also uh, think about calling the um, the, the well, what's, what's the uh, ch uh, RS, uh, what's the protection for children NSPCC as well, uh, bearing in mind that this took place in front of a child as well. So there's a certain amount of um, abuse, psychological abuse, I would suggest, goes on there as well. So it's all pretty grim, and Kurt Zuma, yet again, kind of. I mean, the one thing about quite a big... And I feel bad saying this, because having worked at TalkSport for so many years, I, I know quite a lot of, you know, former professional footballers. And I think the ones that sort of go into broadcasting and, and end up becoming journalists and the like are the brighter side of football in, in all respects. Uh, but I think what you see when, when these kind of incidents take place... 
I mean, this is not the most intelligent group of people, let's be honest here. I mean, this fella's clearly as thick as mints, right? I mean, there's no... I don't think we can have any debate on that one. If you think kicking your cat across the kitchen uh, while somebody films it and laughs about it, then releases it, for goodness sake. I mean, I don't know what sort of friendship he had with the person who released it. Uh, this is horrible. This is horrible. It's grim. It is grim. It's horrible. Why would you wish to do that? It's his own cat figures. Two grand's worth of cat, if you want to factor that point in as well. Uh, maybe you've got a view on that as well, because we're going to talk more about that a little later as well. 0344 499 1000. Good talk. Hot talk. Talk. Bold talk. talk radio. Listen on your smart speaker. Watch it live on your smart TV. The world headquarters of common sense. Talk radio.